I'm not gonna sing again. I was gonna record it. Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here. Got the whole family with me. Hey y'all. Hey, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the three kinds of people that are here on the planet. Separation. There's three different kinds of people. You could imagine if, if somebody say, name three different kinds of people. What, what? How could you separate three different kinds of people? I mean, think. Got the holy, the sinners, and the in between. Yeah. yeah. And then you got the fat, the skinny, and the middle. <laughs> you got the poor, the rich, and the middle class. In the middle. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No men, women, men, women, and children. Oh, I thought you were gonna say the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so in this particular one, we're talking about them in relationship to the stars. Right? So there's many ways we can, we can talk about, you know, the three different kinds of people. But in this one, we're talking about the relationship to the stars. So we're looking here in Key 106 from the Key of Enoch. Now, we're not going to look at the whole chapter. We really only want to look at one or maybe two verses. But if you would, go ahead and read the key, Stacey. Oh, Chris? Our universe was created out of the light synthesis of the next universe, the Pleiades, the cradle, and the throne of our consciousness. Now, this is speaking on the multi-universe. Dante, you understand we live in a multi-universe? You ever heard that before? So this book kind of explains it a little bit. And it's talking about how these universes are created from the light synthesis of the next universe. And it goes on to give detail in that. But we want to jump all the way down here. You on the right page? 53? Mm -hmm. We want to jump all the way down here to about verse, I think it's 11. Matter of fact, let's look at verse 10 since it's at the top of the page. But now we want to be careful, whoever reads these, we want to be careful which names we use. We see down here that this particular passage uses the word Kema and Kizzle. Those are the Hebrew names for what we see in verse 11 which are the Greek names. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to use those Greek names because they're associated with mythological gods, right? You've heard that before, right? Right. All right, so let's start there in verse 10. And we examine the book of Genesis involving the seven days of creation. We see that the six fields of light come together so that on the seventh day, transmutation can be added to the physical chemistry of life. Therefore, on the seventh aeon of light, the races which are involved during the first six aeons of time are suspended by the seventh ray, which is the planning of an Adamic household of Kimmel and Kizil intelligence on the planet as a witness to the involving nations. Now, like we said, this book is explaining this multi-universe and how it works together. Of course, we have one father, one center, one creator. But if we live on a multi-universe, how does how do they all interconnect? How do they work together? And so that's what this is explaining here. A little bit of background knowledge. But let's look at verse 11. Let's read through it and then we're gonna take it kind of slow. Kizzle emanates agnostics, the knowledge which creates the pneumatical, the spiritual powers of the Christ, however the pre-physical garment of light which is needed to embody their high light consciousness comes from the Kimmel. The Kimmel also gives us the light garments of the negative mass, which shapes the zoikoi, the physical spectrum of the many who are called. Between the two are the psychikoi, the rational minds who derive their mental energy from the lower heavens and call powers into themselves. They prevent the zyokoi from receiving the spiritual agnostics of the Pneumatic All right, you want to take a punctuation mark by punctuation mark? Kissel emanates the gnosis. What is the gnosis? The knowledge which creates the pneumatic So this knowledge which creates the pneumatic comes from Kissel. Right. Okay. Now what is the pneumatic the spiritual powers of the Christ. Okay. So the spiritual powers of the Christ comes from Kizzle. All right. All right, go ahead. However, the 
pre-physical garment of light, which is needed to embody this higher light consciousness, comes from Kema. So, whereas the Gnosis comes from Kisu, the embodiment comes from Kema. Right. All right, go ahead. Kema also gives us the light garments of the negative mass, which shapes the Zoikoi. So, this Kema creates the pneumaticoid. So negative mass shapes the zoicoid? Yeah. Yes, that's right. Because like we said up there at the beginning, in the key, what does the key say again? Our universe was created out of the light synthesis of the next universe. Yeah, and so you have this negative energy that's on one universe that's not allowed to transpire to the next universe we learned in this book. This negative energy creates dark matter and of course, is the source of the next universe. Right. And that's how they are created. Didn't we learn it? So, so far, it seems that Kissel is providing the knowledge while Kema is providing the physical parts. The physical parts, the code we learn in this book, why we look this way. All right, go ahead. The physical spectrum of the many who are called in reference to the zoicoid. The zoicoid. Now, that's important to understand, defining this zoicoid. Because, like I said, we're talking about three different people. This zoicoid is everybody. This is like the eight billion people that are on the planet. But notice that this zoicoid, like it says here, these are the people who are called. Right. The many. The many. The multitude. The multitude. This is everybody, like we said. So, like Stacey read about in the Great Book of True Life, that everybody has a calling, right? You want to speak on that? Um, I don't remember exactly what it said, but I do do remember that we talked about how everybody that the most that the Father creates has a calling on their life. Nobody is without a calling. Everybody has a certain thing to do. Uh, it's the reason that he was called. Okay. And everybody he called us. He and everybody created us. And everybody's supposed to go to heaven too, right? Kind of. Yeah, everybody. Everybody goes to. That was one of the, I think, most fascinating things that we found out is that everybody ends up in heaven, whether Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> or, eventually. Yeah, eventually Jeffrey Dahmer or you know, so Mother cool. Teresa. So nobody goes to hell. Nope. Well, well we actually hell, that there is that, no well, hell is like of heaven. They well, you kind of go <laughs> gotta got gotta go through a hell. Yeah. For the punishment, and then you end up there. So like we said, Jeffrey Dahmer and Chris would say eventually, or well, you can imagine he gotta go through something. So was hell on earth? Well, for some people, yeah. There's a um, hell is a physical thing where they actually some people live in hell right now even though they walk around just like you and i you'll see them on a the bus or see them on, yeah that's a hell that they're living in the person who's say for example living under the bridge is in a hell that's a that's a form of hell yeah the person that's in war i'm sorry we found out that there there is you know how we was always taught that hell there's a place under the earth where the bad people go you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you was ever taught that. People yeah. go under the earth where bad people go when they die. And the good people go to heaven and live with Jesus. The bad people go under the earth to with hell the devil, and live with the Father. But we actually learn that that's not true. We do learn that they do feel burning, but it's not on eternal. It's not on the body. Right. It's on what? It's coming from their conscious, from the spirit. Yeah. yeah. It is it is. Yeah, it's actually absolutely. And a mind. spirit thing too now. Spirit and mind. Spirit because and mind. well, you don't you don't recognize the spirit part because we ain't there yet. But yeah. the the body part, yeah, is is a mind thing. There's some people who literally live in hell, and there's some people who literally live in heaven, and they can literally be in the same place. That's what the scripture means when it says there will be two in a bed. One will be taken, and one will be left because they it's a mind thing. Mm. Interesting. But what we're learning here is the mind thing comes from Kema or Kizzle, right? Right, the mind thing comes from Kizzle. The mind thing comes from Kizzle. And what we're learning is that we said there are three different individuals in the ray of this Gnosis, this light, right? You have this Zoicoi, the Psychicoi, and the Pneumaticoi from Sandals, right? Go ahead and finish out that verse, please. 
Between the two are the sites of choice. Between the two are the sites of choice. So listen to what it's saying here. Bro. I just learned this yesterday. This is Brandon. Me and Donovan, me and Big Drake did a class on it already, but I just prayed about it and decided to do the whole class over. <coughs> so you have three individuals here. You have the Zoe Choi, which is everybody. Body Dottie, everybody. Then you have the pneumaticoi. Who are the pneumaticoi, Chris? The spiritual powers of the Christ. The spiritual powers of the Christ are the pneumaticoi. And so you have us and you have the angels, so to speak, right? right. That's who the pneumaticoi are, basically. That's who it, it just put a different word on. Mm -hmm. But it's basically angels. And so what's in between, they say? The psychicoi. The psychicoi. Now, what did the psychicoi do? The rational minds who derive their mental energy from the lower heavens and call power unto themselves. So these are entities, people nonetheless, who stand between those who we'll call the common man and this Christ consciousness. Right. This. David. Huh? David. Demon. That the such demons. she's saying are the such accord demons. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because you got because oh, you're saying it's basically the people that stopping them from, from hearing from connecting the with the angels. Yeah. So I would think they were the demons because you yeah, know that's what the psychic demons would, would be. come in and they would that's basically what I said yesterday too, I guess. I they would stop you from basically getting to your end goal, I'ma say, or getting to or closer to Christ. So right. they come in and they distract you to take you down the wrong path. So I would think they were demons, right? Kind of, but we are talking about people too now. It's not I just... I mean, but people can be demons too, though. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, we are we're going to get technical. Technical, people can be right. Demons, people can be demons too. So I think... Yeah, I mean, you're right. I mean... I'm thinking it's, I'm thinking if we wanted to, when we read a little further, we'll be able to point out different professions who have this... Like, there's people with a job to do this. Go, go ahead. I'm, I'll show you what I mean. Go ahead. Like, uh, like voodoo people. <laughs> <laughs> kind of close. Yeah, <laughs> kind of close to what I'm thinking, but maybe not that far. But go ahead. In reference to the Sachikor, it says... I'm at the beginning. You're at the end. <laughs> <laughs> they, prevent, they prevent the Zoikoi from receiving the spiritual gnosis from the pneumaticoi. So, like you said, they, they come across as demons because their job is is to prevent them from hearing from the angels. Their job is to stand in the way. You have the, the common man who would otherwise love to have the relationship with the pneumaticoid, the angels, but you have the psychotoid standing in the way, blocking it out. Right? Right. Okay. Or maybe they're more like a referee. Yeah. See, that's what I said. We'd be able to name professions, but multiple professions. Because a referee would exactly have that responsibility, in a way. You just have to think what what is he trying to prevent, you know, you from the like like. I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but and I don't mean to pick on nobody like Dante, but a mechanic, <laughs> a mechanic doesn't want you to know how easy it is to change your brakes. He yeah, actually true. wants to keep that information from you. So they can charge you all anything they want to. Yeah. Yeah, and so. That's his job to stand in the way. And so the mechanic that's not doing that is the one that's going to come and tell you, hey, you know, you can do it yourself. See, he's the pneumaticoid. He's working with the pneumaticoid. But the one who's like, oh, no, if you do it, blah, it's going to run into the thing. It's, going, it's not going to work. You're not going to use the right stuff. You know, spirit could be. There's many good. jobs, though. Or bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's a spirit thing. No, no, no. What I'm saying is instead of it being the, a demon, it be a spirit, cause you know a spirit can be good or it can be bad. It can be converted. Right. Yeah. Oh, change. So, yeah. So that's yeah. why I would say a spirit, maybe. Yeah. You know. Are y'all running at twenty-seven? All right, twenty-seven. Two more verses. I'm sorry. The planetary counterpart to the blueprint consists of three basic types of men: the zykoi, the clay people who have the ability to evolve, but are largely governed by the fall and chemistry of their physical universe, oblivious to the higher orders of stars' evolution. The psychoi, the rational people who serve the mathematics, 
of the circumpolar areas of the Little Dipper and the Big Dipper and the Think of the Gods only as the mythological manifestations of the Maseroth, the Twelve Signs of the Zodiac, and the Pneumaticoi, the few who are chosen to work with the Lords of Light, who look to the Pilates as a Divine Dipper in the conjunction with the stations of Orion, where Michael, Metatron, and Melchizedek with the 144,000 Lords of Light and minister unto the Sun universe in the names of the living light of Yahweh. All right, let's take this now. The planetary counterpart to the blueprint consists of three basic types of man. So, again, I was getting ahead of myself. This is what we're talking about here. Three different types of man. Three different people that are here when it's talking about this relationship to, you know, these stars. Go ahead. The Zoicoi. The clay people who have the ability to evolve, but are largely governed by the fallen chemistry of this physical universe. And that's the majority of us. Like I said, every man is a sinner. We're all it's talking about the clay people, basic people, right? More involved with the chemistry of it all. Oblivious to the higher orders of the star evolution. Okay, so now the thing about this particular group, which is the majority of us, we are oblivious to what? The higher orders of star evolution. The higher orders of star evolution. In other words, nobody ever taught us this. We, we never got the desire to learn it. And even when we did get the desire to learn it, we may not have the books or learned the, the school to go to or whatever would have prevented us from getting what now? Say it again. The higher orders of star evolution. So that's the majority of us are, are oblivious. Oblivious. To this, okay, go to what's the next people? The Psychicoi, the rational people who serve the mathematics. It's describing these people, this group here, getting a little bit ahead of where I want to go because it's talking about the source of what they're doing. Because, like we said, you have the pneumaticoi who are over here getting their source of light from Kizzle, but it's saying here that the Psychicoi is not getting their source of light from Kizzle, but getting it from the bear constellation or the dragon constellation, which would be the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. Mm -hmm. They're getting their source from the other constellation. So instead of getting their source from the light, they're getting their source and their power from the dark. And they're using this source and this power from the dark, it's going to like a transaction, in order to keep the common man from understanding the Zoicoi, the angels, from speaking to the angels. In other words, you have people who intentionally are there to block us from having a connection with our Father in Heaven, hallowed be his name. There's people who stand at the gates. Keep going. And think of the gods only as mythological manifestations of the Maseroth. But like we said, this is you can't just pin this on one people group because you'd be like, hey, you talking about the preacher. No, no, no. This could be multiple professions, groups. Labels. You can put many labels. Read that again. And think of the gods only as mythological manifestations of the Maserat. So that's that's a that's one of the characteristics of this particular group. This Saitatoy is they believe that all of that up there is just mythological gods. Like we said at the beginning of the class, we didn't want to pronounce their names. Where there are some that believe that that's all there is to it. That's it. They're just myths. They're just myths. They're just nothing really to it. They're mythological gods. This is the Saichi toy. The people in the middle. These are the rational people. They're serving the mathematics of it all, which includes money, includes the mathematics of it all. Whereas the, the Zoi toy are worried about eating the beans. The Saichi toy are worried about how many beans there are, where the beans going to come from, who going to pay for them. They serve in the mathematics with a rational mind. But what they're doing is tapping into not the light, which is our father wants us all to have beans. They're tapping into the bear constellation. They're tapping into the dragon constellation, getting a source of light that way. And that's why you see them in power. And like I said, this is many professions. Anybody that's blocking you out, anybody that don't want you to know, like for instance, a doctor, don't want you to know that our father can heal you through natural herbs or even prayer. So he's a psyche toy, serving the mathematics of it all. Make sense? We named a mechanic, even a hairdresser. Don't want you to know about your natural hair, bloody yada yada. When she stands in the way to talk you out of it or to make it difficult for you, she's standing in as a psyche toy because she's getting she's serving the mathematics of it all, getting paid off of it. In other words, she's getting paid to keep you ignorant. 
just like the mechanic is. As long as you can't change your own spark plugs, you're going to have to go down to the mechanic and pay. Right. And so he's serving the mathematics of it all with the purpose of keeping you in the dark. But this one here, like I said, it could name many professions, but this one here is talking about the stars and the light emanations that are coming from the brotherhood of light. These people, the Saitator, are not getting the emanations from the brotherhood of light, but like we said, from the Little Dipper and the 12 signs of the Zodiac. So they're getting it from the Zodiac. Now, what's interesting is I looked up the relationship between Kimmel and the star constellation of the bull. Turns out they're at the exact same time. It's just your, what's off is the declination. In other words, the bull falls on the ecliptic where the 12 zodiacs are. But during that same time period, we're in the same, we're in the time of Kizzle. So in other words, while there's some people who think that the feast days is all about the bull, like they did coming out of Egypt, that's what an era is, is because of the source of light is Kizzle. Right. which is in the sky at the exact same time. Right. So that's what was going on there in Egypt with Aaron. Make sense, Dace? Mm -hmm. They chose the wrong source of light. They chose the lower heavens, which is the ecliptic, which is the zodiac, which is a source of light, but they're using this lower source of light in order to control people right? and prevent them from getting to the higher or understanding the higher source of light. Go ahead. And the pneumaticoi, the few who are chosen to work with the Lords of Light. So you have these people who are chosen to work with the Lords of Light. So you have this multitude of people down here who, like we said, are oblivious that any of this is going on. Then you have a people who are intentionally trying to keep them oppressed and blocked out so they don't know that's going on. And then you have another group with the sole purpose of making people aware that this is going on. Go ahead. Who looked to Kema as the divine dipper in conjunction with the stations of Kizil, where Michael, Metatron, and Melchizedek. Now, lower, notice that the Saitutoi is looking to these lower heavens, but the Pneumatico are looking to the higher heavens, where who? Michael, Metatron, and Melchizedek. Now, Metatron is Enoch. Enoch, when he was translated up into the heavens, he was transfigured into an angelic figure who we now know as Metatron, highly responsible for this book. Melchizedek is Shem. We found out he's the priest of the Most High God back there in the book of Genesis. Michael is the angel of the covenant. And yeah. so, but notice here who he's with. Who else is up there? The 144 Lords of Light. The 144,000, Metatron, and Melchizedek. Now, it doesn't say that they live there or anything or reside there. What does it say they do there, Chris? Administer unto the sun universes in the name of the living life of Yahweh. Now, the sun universes is where you will get a Messiah from. Like we talked about earlier, you live in a multi-universe. And in some of these universes, you can imagine there are people who look different, act different, sound different, and everything. Well, each of these universes will have to have a Messiah to come and save them for whatever catastrophe they have set for that particular world that they live on. That Messiah would look like the people who live there on the planet. And so that's what he means by sun universes. That's where these entities are coming from because they're all generating from our father. So you can imagine him back there in the center of all that is, he's got all of these multi-universes that all need a savior. And so through the sun universes, along with the 144,000, Michael, Melchizedek, Metatron, they're communicating through these stars now. Sending emanations, all this through these stars. That's why a lot of this depends on star alignments. There's certain times when you can hear and certain times when you can't. You have all of this emanated, like I said, through this to the pneumaticoid. So if you think about it, we're all supposed to be pneumaticoid, but you have the psychicoid who are standing in the way and preventing us from getting this information, from getting this gnosis, to get it, from getting this knowledge. All right. What do y'all think about that? Yeah, that's all I got. I think, it, I think that um, that they're, you know, it's important to understand that you know, as it is in heaven, so it is in in the earth. That 
you know, there are everyday people who, when they see you, you know, say for instance, trying to walk a certain walk, get closer to the most, the father, that they will come in and disrupt you. And we can't say that they're bad people, that but they are. They come in and try to dis yeah disrupt you from from um, I guess being that being that person that you want to be. Good point. Anybody else? Uh, I mean, from what it sounds like, uh, uh, some of the people, uh, with the psyche koi, uh they might not even know that they are that type of person. Right. So say like, um, like, like, uh, like old, old school Catholic. Because back, back in the day, like the only person that was allowed to read the Bible was the Catholic preacher. Mm -hmm. So you had to come to the church to get the information. Right. So he didn't know he was a psychic boy. Mm -hmm. yeah. I believe that's a lot of case. And... I believe, that's why I'm doing this video. I don't. I don't. I think this is new. It's coming out of the keys of Enoch. A lot of people aren't aware of this book, um, and it has a lot of information about this. But we wanted to to uh, share this information, uh, particularly about Kizzle and where this light source is coming from. You know, and you know, it's also talking about how it's being blocked. So you have to be careful. So you guys tell us what you think down in the comment section. And if you got anything out of this video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. But leave us a comment either way. And Salawama. Salawama. Shalom. Have a good day. <laughs>